In today's adventure, we received an email from Superfast Minis to some of our questions, to which they replied, uh, did we get an, a link to a Google Drive where they had a whole bunch of photos? Uh, the answer is no, we didn't get that. And apparently there was a whole lot of information in there just from the photos. But there's also a whole bunch of lack of information because it's just photos and that doesn't really help 100%. So we had asked them about this whole four rib, six rib situation. Uh, one of their pictures shows a four rib sitting here installed, but it doesn't show a belt. They advise us to use a six rib. Well, the thing is, uh, this is still a four rib. We're not gonna put a six rib belt on a four rib pulley. That's a bad idea. In one of their photos, I saw them able to use this, so I'm gonna see about relocating it a little farther up. Maybe that'll give me clearance. I do need to cut the hood. There is a T section of bracing right here on the hood that I'll need to cut out. I also took the liberty of measuring our coolant outlets for the heater. I mean, for the, um, well, for the heater lines as well as for the uh, back of engine outlets that go to the radiator. So we did get one of these beautiful Mishimoto's with the fans as an upgrade over the uh, standard replacement, which also had the auto trans cooler ports, which is a, a no-no on manual cars, especially race cars. So these are 1.25, and the ones on the car are, uh, are also 1.25. That's not gonna be a problem. However, the heater hoses on a Miata are 5 eighths. These guys are 5 eighths, while these over here, this one's 3 quarter and this one's 5 eighths. Then we have an extra one here and then two little ones here. I plan on running these two over to the throttle body as per stock. We have ordered an EGR block off. Um, I, I may just cap this off, I don't know. I need to see where I can run it to. And then uh, fuel wise, I measured this. This is a 12 millimeter uh, banjo. We're just gonna go ahead and get a banjo that has a barb fitting on the end of it. Cause Superfast Mini says you can just run this over. Obviously not, this, this can't, so. This guy, um, this guy's a little bit too small. We're gonna see if we can't adapt this over to that. Um, and then we need to, um, yeah, get that barb to run this over to here. Intake manifold's still not on yet because uh, the guy hasn't welded it yet. I will need to work on getting some of these wires routed out of the way. And then it looks like we do have room to run the heat shields on these. So we're probably just gonna put the factory heat shields back on this from Honda. Uh, there is also a picture that I noticed on the Superfast Mini's drive where they cut a notch out of here and it looks like we're like a hair, maybe even a piece of paper, thin space between this bolt and over here. So I may get under here and just ding this upwards so we have that clearance. Don't want to have any extra rattles. And that's plenty of work for me to do today. Update here. So I took my lady foot and a hammer and I bent that bracket down out of the way. It is no longer contacting the alternator. That's good. Uh, I went and did the same thing on the underside back here. You may be able to see that's, that's bent upward back there. Uh, I had access right here. So I went up right there and that's where it's been pushed up. Uh, I've installed a bolt here. There was not a bolt there. I, I would like to get a slightly longer one than that. Uh, the reason this bolt up here was not all the way tight was because it bottomed out. So I had to put two washers on there to stop it from bottoming out. And then let's see. Oh, big news. Removing the bracketry that holds these lines together on the AC helped a lot, but these are still under a significant amount of tension. I'm really not keen on that, but there's not much I can do. Like this guy, look at that. It's, it's pushed down. I'm not comfortable bending these lines. Uh, but the AC compressor's on. This still leaves us uh, to need to run. Yeah, it looks like this actually lines up with the power steering pulley. But the problem is that we have this guy here. So we'll need to investigate that. And then as far as the lines over here go, I had to just bend this one forward a little bit. That was not really a big deal. Just bent this one a little bit, gave it a bit of a kink. So now I have access to get this filter unobstructed before this was up against it where that mark is. Uh, and I have installed the, the drive shaft. That's all for the moment. I have taken the wiring. I have uh, tucked all of it as much as I can back here. This wiring is back here. I relieved this wire so I can move it farther away from the, uh, the manifold. I put the heat shield on the manifold and then per the pictures, not the instructions, per the pictures of this uh, mini kit, they said use a, uh, a Deco 71989. And so I got that guy. I chopped it at this end, chopped it at that end. It is 
like I wish it was just an inch longer because it's hugging really tight here, but I'll be able to clamp it off there and clamp it off here. On this side, same thing, I just zip tied a bunch of the wires out of the way, made them look nice. Uh, obviously, you know, the radiator um, took care of those wires. Uh, this is another hose, it is a 71981. No cut on that end, it fits very tight over there. And then we're supposed to tuck it under here. It's not the, not the best idea, I don't think, but it is, there is no other option because it's gonna be right here. I may ding this out of the way. And then for our last hose, this is a, I cut it just here. This is a uh, 71478. So this will come off of the bottom of the radiator down there and then snake around some stuff. And then it should line up to this. Now, as far as mating these together, I'm guessing we're supposed to use the stock connection from the Miata. It can't be mounted anymore because the, you know, that thing I bashed out of the way. Uh, but I, I didn't cut these super short. I cut these right until the next joint. So I believe we have a lot of excess here. I can always cut back some more. Mm -hmm. The AC, so it looks like the AC belt is uh, lined up with the power steering belt. They are both four rib. However, if you were to look over this, <laughs> a belt can't go off of that and a, uh, yeah. So both this nipple right here and the alternator and the alternator bolt and the pickup tube are all in the way of this completing the circuit down to the AC compressor. So I'm not sure what they imagine is going to be able to be done here. Oh yeah, I did put the sway bar back in also. And there are the chunks of hose that I've cut up. All right, threw the intake manifold in temporarily. We still don't have the back welded yet. Um, had to reschedule with the guy. So this is in here, at least just for fit up purposes. I got a couple of bolts on this holding it in place. I have put OEM Mazda Miata, yeah, from the, from the Miata. I got those uh, clamps on here and back there. This side, let's see. I'd use a worm gear on this one. I could not get the stock Miata clamp on there. I put on the intake manifold just for routing purposes for the wiring. Um, so this hose, I have not cut it shorter yet. I believe I'm gonna have to. As far as the other hose goes, where'd I put that guy? Mm, there it is. So I've decided that I'm gonna use this guy to try and transition a little bit better. So I cut this a little bit shorter, I cut this a little bit shorter. I may have to cut this shorter, but this will allow me to get around that heat shield a little bit more nicely. And also this being next to the exhaust manifold is better than the rubber hosing, but we will be, um, we will be shielding it either way. I am concerned this O2 sensor wire may not be long enough, but I may just be paranoid. Um, this, we'll have to get this in the car in order to figure that out. I have removed this manifold. Mini tech said it is supposed to be threaded. So this will be going back to them and they need to send us another one. Uh, we did get a nice email from Minitech. I think they're getting tired of us sending them questions because uh, the last one they sent us a copy of those useless instructions again as if we hadn't read them or as if they had the answers. Um, so last I had mentioned was the AC compressor and according to them you're supposed to use the JV6 front clutch assembly. So let's hope when we put that on there it doesn't move the whole assembly forward, but it just moves the pulley forward because I'm out of room with the with the sway bar there. And currently that lines up with the power steering. It sure as hell doesn't line up with this. We'll see though. All right, so like I said, I got all this wiring run. So this is, this is in a fairly nice configuration. And you'll see we have plenty of line here so we can run it wherever we want on the firewall. There'll, there'll be plenty uh, to run it around. Um, and you know, another thing that's not in the instructions is, what do I do about this cable being, you know, four or five inches too long? Because I installed it and then I was like, yeah, this sits way out here. There's no way this is gonna work. So, what do? Another question. Oh, I did have to bend that little tab down some more to clear with that, uh, that coolant hose thing, but, uh, this this at least lets us know how we're gonna do all that stuff. I may have to modify up that Acura cover. I had to take it off because like I had said before, the intake manifold does interfere with it. Very important update. I have run into another not so happy moment on this thing. So I'm in here trying to hook up all the sensors and stuff to see where I can route them. And let's see if I can get the camera to see. See this guy? 
Can you see that guy? Yeah, this guy. How, how am I supposed to plug this in? Like seriously? You guys point this downward? There's room over here and you point this downward? Also, there's no note about having to cut the transmission here. Not happy right now. Quick little update. Took care of cutting the hood. Just a straight cut with a with my one of my smaller cutoff wheels, and then I rounded off all the edges. I really hope this is the correct cut, but it's what the instructions say, so what do I know?